I'm an artist, you're an artist, we are all artists. Welcome back everyone to Material Art Studio. I hope that you'll join me today, Juan Scribe, in taking a funky trip to outer space and back in time to 1997 as we paint based on Paul W.S. Anderson's classic horror cult classic, Event Horizon. So this idea is great for a do-it-yourself paint night or a Halloween themed paint night. And the materials I use are not that many. I used a big brush, a medium brush, and a small brush. Now to get specific, I did use a number 12 flat, a number 10 flat, and a number four round. But whatever you have in terms of small, medium, and large. As far as the paint, the same thing. I use Mars Black and Thalo Yellow Green. But if you have any kind of black paint, that'll do. And as far as the green, you mix green with yellow, you'll get the green that I have. So this paint painting is, is super easy. And as you can see here, I'm pouring some black paint onto my paper plate. I'm gonna also pour the, the green that I have and we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna take my largest brush that I have. So again, it is a number 12 flat, but anything that you have that looks at what I'm holding will do. And I'm gonna make the shape of that window that you see in the in the in the movie when he has that dream, Doctor Weir. So it's um, it's a, a cr like a sideways cross, which is interesting enough. It's a bit of symbolism there, perhaps. And you know, also I was thinking that it looks a little bit like the Chevy logo, but actually it's more like a sideways cross. And I'm painting the background black. And this will take a couple of minutes to do when you're doing it. But just uh, use brush strokes that are side to side or up and down. But do, do one or the other. Don't do both. You know, you want it to look cohesive. You want it to look like, you know, it's, uh, it's orderly in a way. Or, or, although, right, the dimension that, they, that it, Sam Neill's character talks about is pure chaos. Here we're going to try to remain, you know, keep things in a little bit in order. So the film itself, what do you guys think? I mean, masterpiece? Yeah, right? I thought it was excellent, though not perfect. There are a couple of scenes that I feel weigh it down a bit, but overall, it was, it was terrifying, and it was uh, a creep factor was through the roof, and the cast was stellar. So the cast consisting of Sam Neill, Lawrence Fishburne, um, Kathleen Quinlan, Joel Lee Richardson, Richard T. Jones, Jason Isaacs, Jack Noseworthy, and um, and then there was another um, the person who played Smitty. He, he was they were all great together. So um, now, of course, like many of the movies that I paint to or that I adore, you know, the critics were not as kind. <laughs> but overall, and over time. It surely became a cult classic, a something that is acquired, but that is that when you like it, you really like it. So here I'm using the same brush, the number 12 or the large brush that you might have, and I'm painting the inside of the window using the green now. And again, it is phthalo yellow green. But if you don't have that color specifically, you make it use the green that you do have and some yellow and it'll give you a bright yellow that's that's similar to this so you paint it all you try to stay within the lines try to press down firmly as i am to get a straight line when you need to so here i'm taking some white paint and i'm just uh, dabbing some with the same brush i'm dabbing some light that is shining through that window and i, I wash my brush in between the takes uh, i did wash off the green paint so now I'm using white paint and I'm dabbing white paint throughout the, the shape.
And here I go back to the green paint and I'm using the, the same large brush and I am going to paint the light emitting from the window that is painting, I'm painting outward. So I'm painting out and that, that is the light that is shining through. And I'm gonna paint it around the whole area of that window to show the glare, the light that is coming through that window all around. And I'm only painting outward. I'm not gonna paint into the window, just outward. So here I'm using a hair dryer to dry it so that I can then add the figure that's gonna go in the middle. So a hair dryer is a great tool for, for painters uh, with acrylic paint. It will dry it up within two minutes. So you keep it there back and forth, two minutes, and it will dry it right up. So here, after it's dry, I want you to take a deep breath and let it out. We're gonna start painting the person. I'm using the medium sized brush now. And the first thing that I'm gonna start with is the head. So I want you to make all the marks that I make, okay? So I'm starting with the head. And at first it's gonna be very much a stick figure, as you will see. It's gonna have the shoulders as I made them already. And now I'm making the arm. And at first, again, it's gonna be like a Blair Witch Project stick figure. It's gonna be very basic. And then we'll fill in all the, the muscles, all the, the, the flesh. So at first, it is just, as you can see, arms that are connected to the shoulders, that have the neck that goes up a little bit, and then there's a head. So now I'm adding the, the trunk, the torso. And there are no legs yet, but here we go. I'm gonna start with the legs. So first again, the figure, the basic figure, and then I will fill it all in. So now I'm filling it in, as I had mentioned, I'm filling in some of the, the, the space that is around the, the person to, to actually give the person some substance. So I'm filling in some of the muscles, the, the legs, as you can see, the top of the legs and his back, I filled it in. And it's gonna be slow, it's gonna be gradual. Okay, and in between some of these um, brush strokes, in between, I, I do wet the brush at times to, to loosen it up, to add a little bit of water sometimes to the black paint so that it'll, it'll make it a little bit more workable. But um, you gotta be careful, of course, not to add too much water, because then if you do that and you put it on the canvas, uh, the paint will drip sometimes, as you're about to see in, in a second here. So as you can see here, I, I added too much water and uh, trying to loosen up the water, the black paint, and it started to drip. So all you have to do, if, if you do make a mistake like that, is just wipe it off very, very quickly with um, <clears throat> paper towel or, or napkin or baby wipe, whatever you have around. And then um, wait for it to dry. And then you, you will paint uh, you know whatever color was there that was dripped over. But here I'm continuing to add more and more meat to this person and to try to make, here I'm making the, the head a little bit bigger. I'm, I'm, he's coming to life, basically.
So here I moved on to the smallest brush that I have. So I have a number four round, but if you have something even smaller, that's even better. So I'm making some digits here, some fingers, and on both hands. And as you can see, I'll just continue to add more details to this person. And here what I'm doing is adding some green to fix the mistake that I had there with the black paint was dripping. I'm also using some green and and um, trying to paint around the person to, to try to make it more solid. Any area you might need to, to smooth, in, smooth out to add some of that background color around the person. Make the head a little bit more round there or less round, whatever, whatever you might need to get rid of something that's sticking out. And here I am just uh, writing my initials, so or my name. You could write anything you want on your painting at any time, of course. As I mentioned, you're an artist, so you, you worked on it. So make it yours, write anything, write uh, Liberate, Tutame, Ex Inferis, whatever comes to mind. And I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you like, comment, and subscribe, please. So follow us also at Juan Scribe on Facebook, on Instagram, and visit our website, etherealartsstudio.com. Thank you so much for watching.